Hey everybody, this is Phrygian Radar. I haven't made a video for a long time, but I came across a situation yesterday um, where I had to master pin the control lug shear line on an SFIC core. And it was for a special type of cylinder that went into a sliding glass case. This is not that cylinder. This is just an example. I wanted to show how I did it because it took a little bit of mental gymnastics and it was frustrating in the back of a hot van. So um, what I did was I, I just cut out some, some um, mock keys. I got C, Control, M, Master, and then uh, CH1 for change one. So our control bidding is, let's see, two, eight, six, seven, three, five. The master is five, three, eight, two, six, one. And then our change one is seven five four four eight five something that you might see in an actual for real uh master system okay so those are the biddings so what we're going to do normally you would master pin the um the operating shear line by uh by you know the bottom pins here would be you'd have a five and then a two and then you'd uh, calculate your uh, driver pin and then put your uh, buildup pin in there, right? But that's not how you do this. So in these type of cylinders, the control pin has to operate the actual lock. So the control biddings are going to go uh, down here at the bottom. So we're going to have two, let's give us, uh, yeah, let me give myself a little bit more room to work. We'll put two, then we have eight, six, seven, three, and five. Then we'll draw our lines for columns going up. Sorry, this is so messy. I just wanted to. Okay, so here's the, here's the tricky part. So to normally, to get your, um, your driver pin, you take 13 and you subtract whatever you want the control lug to be. In this case, we have two of them. So 13 minus five is eight. So we have, uh, let me get, let me put it on a different, uh, well, maybe I won't put it on a different piece of paper, but now I need a different piece of paper. Let me get one. Okay. So this is for column one or, or the uh, tip. Okay, obviously this is all tip to bow. So 13 minus five is eight. 13 minus seven is six, okay? Now add those to the bottom stack and you got eight plus two is 10. So the buildup pin is gonna be a 13. Six plus two is eight. The buildup pin is 15. So. We're going to master the buildup pins here. We need a 13 to work, and we need a 15 to work, okay? So the way we do that is we're going to put a 13 and then a 2. So now we have 13 works and 15 works. The top pin, the driver pin, is always going to be the smallest of the two from your, the ones that you're the master and the change one. So it's gonna be a six. Let's see if we did the math right. Two plus 13, 15. 16, 17 plus six, 23. That's the magic number, okay? You guys see how I did that? Let's do it on another chamber. So we got eight, um, and then, okay, so our chain, our, our, uh, our master, our master cut is three. So over here, let's do column two. So we got three minus, uh, th 13 or 13 minus three rather is a 10 and 13 minus five is an eight. Okay. 
So that means uh, 10 plus 5 is 15, right? The 15 plus um, the build-up pin is, uh, is, is that an 8? So I'm getting all squirreled around. These are these are hard to remember how to do. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, I got to add that to 8. So 10, 10 plus 8 is 18. So the build-up pin is going to be a 5. 8 plus 8 is 16. The build-up pin is going to be a 7. Okay. See how weird it is? It's it, it's it's kind of confusing. So now we're going to have, for our build-up pins, we're going to have a 5 and a 2. And then the smallest of the two at the top is an 8. Check our math again. 8 plus 5 is 13, 15, 23. Boom, it works. Okay, so let's pin up those two chambers real quick. Because this is just an example. I could go through and do all of them. I have, I have done that already. Um, but just this is this is just for an example. So our our pins for the tip 2, 13, 2, 6. So I got a 2, 13, 2, 6. A master 2. And a six. I feel like they're they're done in there. Yeah, they're done in there. All right. Uh, and then we've got here. Let me put a spring in so that I can kind of hold them in place. Okay. And now we've got eight. Hope that's an eight. Eight, five, got it. two, eight. And put a spring. Okay. All right, we've got the, the bottom two. All right, now watch. This one's our control key. See the C? That operates the operating shear line. We have our master key, M. See? Operates the control log. Now our change key. CH1 also operates the control lug. Okay, this is a super special circumstance. I've I, this was the first time I ever ran across it. It was a uh, Medico X4 uh, jewelry glass case thing. That was that was it was terribly frustrating to you know. I mean, when when you look at it and you break it down, you're like, oh, that makes sense. But when you're in the field and somebody's breathing down your neck and it's 200 degrees in your van, it's like, give me a break. So I wanted to make a video in case anybody ever ran across something like that. Um, I took a li another little video of the actual cylinder. And uh, since I don't make a whole lot of YouTube videos, I'll see if I can include that in it so you guys can see what, I was actually, what I'm actually talking about. Um, but this is how you do it. All right. Take care.